Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to change the control of indicators inside a cluster. In the front panel, we have a cluster that has three Boolean indicators. So what we'll do is, first of all, we'll create a property node with colors 4, and we'll change that to right. Now what we'll do is, we'll use the for loop, because there are four indicators or the four elements four elements or that is more than one so now what we'll do is create the color box constant that will be used to select the color of respective indicators since we have four controls four indicators will require four color box input so arrange them probably So now let's arrange the controls in the front panel and the block diagram. So now what we have to do next is we'll be getting the property node and then the controls reference from there. So get all values. So what we'll do next is since we have got the reference of all the controls, what we'll do is we'll use the typecasting to convert all of them into Boolean because at the moment it's all generic. So we'll do, first of all, we'll disconnect it and then we'll create the constant. At the moment, as you can see, it will give the string, that's the default value. So now what we'll do is we'll be creating the reference and at the moment is the boolean strict that will work so let's uh, create a little bit of space to work on it and let's connect into the typecasting now the generic value of the reference coming out of the control controls property node of the cluster will give us the re boolean reference. Now what we'll do is we'll create an array of all the color box inputs. Note that uh, the output of the color box is always the integer value. So we'll insert it and then it will use the auto indexing to select the respective value in each iteration. So now create the constant to get the value out of it. As you can see, the value of the color for input is an array of a cluster of colors. So what we'll do is we'll use the bundle and then connect it over there on the top. And as you can see, it will be showing the broken error because it is not going to work because it requires an array of cluster because it says it has got four values over there so what we'll do is we'll replace that with the build array over there and let's insert the value over there now as you can see the error has been solid and we can run it now as we press it immediately since the values of all the control indicators are black, that means all has been changed to black, and we can change the color of each indicator inside the cluster respectively. This is useful when you want to change the control color of the controls on in a fly.